I'm going to take off my shoes. We've got a nice little carpet here. We'll get started. All right, so a little bit about myself. Uh, this is me, Ryan Kennel. I'm the office director. I have a mechanical engineering degree from U of M. I uh, also have my MBA from Ross School. There you can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter. Um, don't follow me on Instagram, because I don't know how to use it, or, or Snap, for that matter. Awesome. So how many people here are from Ann Arbor? Raise your hands. How many people work in Ann Arbor? How many people are Ann Arbor curious? <laughs> awesome. This slide's for you. So um, I grew up in Ann Arbor um, and have been an Arbor Ann Arborite since 1983. Went to Lawton, Slauson, and Pioneer. Um, I then moved the whole 4.5 miles away uh, to attend University of Michigan and then commuted 38 miles to work for a cultural icon, Ford Motor Company, and I've now raised my family in Ann Arbor. Um, so June 2nd, 2001, uh, this was the greatest day of my life. I got married at Westminster uh, Presbyterian Church in Ann Arbor. Uh, there's a picture of my wife. It was actually uh, 52 degrees in hailing uh, on June 2nd, so we had to have an indoor wedding. Um, I want to fast forward, though, to about 10 years later, uh, June 2nd, 2011. This is one of the worst days of my life. So I uh, was working in Ford in manufacturing, and we were rolling out some software that would uh, basically it schedules all the vehicles to move down the line. So we were doing a like-for-like -like replacement, which is a horrible IT term for saying, we're going to give you the exact same software, but it's newer, so you know, bear with us on all this risk here. Um, but just as my wife and I were about to go out to dinner, uh, all of a sudden I got this phone call. Well, it was not a phone, but it was a text to my Android phone that basically when I received this text, I had five minutes to respond before the line shut down. So all of a sudden, uh, no dinner for my wife. Um, well, actually, she went and got dinner. She brought Bagger Dave's back home. But uh, needless to say, a lot of presents later, we're still married. Um, then it got worse. So we had been forced to push out the software ahead of schedule the Michigan Assembly Plant because the, you know, they had to make the line move faster, right? And we weren't ready. We hadn't developed the software techniques that would enable us to uh, run software, know that the software was working um, at the time. And this is a huge problem. So now all of a sudden, instead of getting this one random text message on my 10th anniversary, I am getting uh, texts uh, about once a week. And unfortunately, uh, they always happen around 2 a.m. in the morning. So imagine yourself having to wake up to respond to the call of a, you've got five minutes before the plant shuts down. Um, so how did we get here, right? So uh, first off, we got here because we were creating software that nobody wanted um, because they already had software that made the plant work, right? They didn't care that it was DOS. Um, anyone knows what DOS is? <laughs> All right. You probably shouldn't be at the tech track if you know what DOS is. <laughs> um, but it was replacing DOS with like a modern Java Enterprise Edition, right? So, that's the first problem, right, is we're, we're pushing this. And because they didn't really want it, we had to really build it up in these big batches, one, two-year development cycles. And so from there, the risk just builds up over time. We're also kind of doing it in the dark blind. And the reason why it was blind is we weren't smart enough. We were in our 20s, and we didn't know things like, oh, we should uh, instrument this with some monitoring, some metrics, right? Um, again, there was no business value. The customer's like, I don't want this. I got to run a plant right now. I can't give you my time, right? So we're really just guessing as to what needs to be delivered. Um, there's a better way to do this, and that's how at Ford Labs I think we do this now, right? So um, we talk about better products through balanced teams. So instead of creating software just as a check the dot exercise for IT, uh, we now create balance teams that actually focus on delivering value. And we think of this balance teams in terms of three different groups. There is the product designer who focuses on user desirability. There is the software engineer who focuses on technical feasibility. And then there's the product manager that focuses on businessifiability. So 
we use these three forces to create the software product that the business needs. Not the one that they ask for, but the one that they actually need. We do this in one-week iterations as opposed to in 18-month death marches. It wasn't meant to be a joke, but it's really what it was. Um, <laughs> So again, some of the practices that we use, extreme programming. So I hope you come visit us at Ford Labs on the tech truck, uh, user-centered design, and then lean product management. Um, and in addition to the practices, we also like to balance work and fun. So uh, while our people work a full eight-hour day, um, and it's only eight-hour day, 40-hour a week, we don't do the, the weekend thing, we also like to take breaks, play ping pong, uh, and whatnot. And then the outcomes. Outcomes are we've actually launched a uh, non-emergency medical transport called GoRide. I think it's on display at Mobility Row. And we are now located in downtown Ann Arbor, which I never would have thought uh, having commuted to Dearborn for 18 years. And then there's the best outcome. That's our one-year anniversary right there. And happy team and continuing to grow. So appreciate the time today. Thank you. <laughs>